Pai, for this is power talk. I hope you're getting power from this conversation. Huh? I hope you are being empowered uh, through this conversation. The hashtag is Power Talk Show on Twitter at Ramaguko at Y254 channel. Uh, today we're asking the question, are excess for keeps? Now let me head over to Facebook and see what people are saying. Mm -hmm. I'm with a Fiji Mwenyewe, huh, pa? Uh, and uh, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Karibu ni sana. Asante. Uh, Tuangale what people are saying on, on, on our Facebook platform. Mm, kamati na sema uh, mga. Kamati ya watu. Anasema, mm. I'm seeing Rodriguez mm. at the Benz Omondi. Anasema, your ex is calling you at 11 p.m. and you accept. Really? <laughs> <laughs> Joel Omwana wa Jorab. Anasema, watching from Ebulwanda Bunyore. Mm. Koveto wa Bur... Hey, watu wakana na majina hapa nji. Mm. Bura Kwada, mm -hmm. and as a upper locks, Nikua LD. Yeah, it's right since you let her know every part of your greatest moves. By the way, mm -hmm. your part is it? Is it okay to keep in touch with them just for for them to know that you're moving on? You know, I say, Mati, hey, watch this space. In five years, I'll not be there. That's already a sign you've not moved on. Ah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Kalale Wayuna, Nasema Nikondani, Nikiwa Kitale, Kibomet, Pamoja, Hadi Tamati. Be the Ashley and Ashley and Sema watching from Macha. Uh, Masinde Kutoka Vumilia and Sema watching from Washington County. Selector Davy and Sema Song and Bele Kama Injili. Song and Bele Kama Injili. Faster. Yes. Well, we, we shall sample them uh, up. Remember, we also asked our viewers to send mm. us a clip. Uh, those clips are coming up in a bit. Mm -hmm. But now let's move on, move on with this conversation. Yes. And I asked the question, what if your ex has good a good rapport with your family members? What do you do in that scenario? Afiji, um, okay. let, let me start with that first. Okay. Well, um, I don't see the big deal if you are friends with my sister, if you are friends with my mom, if you are friends, you know, you can stay friends with them. Hmm. But I think I won't be in a space where you are there with them, you know. But the family members will be putting under pressure, huh? They will organize events and make sure that you are on the same table. Ah, mm -hmm. I will. I will. I will have to tell them who whose side are you on mm -hmm. here. Mm -hmm. Is it mine or? So you know. that's, what not open, and that's why you want him. When the guy is ah. involved. <laughs> when the guy is involved. <laughs> Your ex has bought your mother a brand new Prado or Mercedes. But you know, at the end, at the end of the day, the decision is mine. You mm -hmm. know, there is a reason as to why that person is my ex. If he still wants to be friends with my family, that's up to him. If my family wants to be friends with him, that's also okay. You know, you will not go and tell someone, I don't want you to be friends with him. I don't, you know. So if they want to stay friends, as long as it's not interfering with me or my decisions or my plans, it's fine. L let me come to you, Diego. Uh, your ex have a, your ex has a, has a good rapport with your family and friends. Mm -hmm. How do you work your way through that? Uh, the best way is to be able to define yourself. Let everybody understand your principle and what you want for your own life. Again, they are friends with my family. They are not friends with me. You cannot stop anyone from being friends with whoever they want to be friends with. Mm -hmm. In this case, I would always say that it is upon you. Probably let us go back to where it began. Uh -huh. By the time you're introducing them to your family, yeah? Don't introduce to your family things which are not serious. Because you'll always be, keep, you'll always be having problems. Because this family, will love, this family member will love this one. This family yeah. member will love this one. This family. By the yeah. time you're coming... It will be chaotic. You understand? Mm -hmm. So when you are beginning a relationship, getting to the level where now you are bringing in your family, let it be something serious. Point to note for everyone. Yes. By the time you introduce them to your family, to your family, let it, it be something be yeah, Let it be something serious. Because yeah, can you imagine, mm. you are having about four excess. I don't advocate that, especially for believers. I also give my stand as far as faith is concerned and relationship. But can you look at a scenario where you're having three exes mm. and they all know your parents, they all know your family, they know your brothers. <laughs> your life will be chaotic. <laughs> yeah, <true. laughs> yeah. Hey, no, my son. Mm. And, uh, wow, okay. Let me ask you another question. An ex you are dating, mm -hmm. you are dating. Mm -hmm. But now in the course of you guys dating, they die. 
how do you move on from that? Because now we can just say that is your ex now, but not not that mulikosana mm -hmm. in the natural in the you know. Uh, you yeah, you yeah. mm -hmm. before you could sort things out. Mm -hmm. But now, how do you handle that uh, scenario? Let me come to you, Fiji. Wow. Well, that that's different mm -hmm. because that's like you're still in a relationship with someone and then all of a sudden they are not there anymore yeah you get it so it takes time for you to accept the situation first of all you'll have to grieve you know it takes time for you to accept and then mm -hmm. now for you to move on maybe you feel because anyone who has ever lost someone who they are dating they usually feel very guilty to move on Mm. But you know, it gets to a point you feel like this person has blessed you, has given you the blessing. Mm. Now you feel like you, you're okay to start seeing someone else. Because it takes time. It takes time. Yeah, it takes but time. But will you move on? Most people do. Even in marriage, you know, you, you, you might even be married to someone and maybe you're still young. Mm. You know, m maybe you had just, maybe it was an early marriage, you were still young and then you lose your partner. It happens, but it takes time. It gets to a point where you feel like your partner has given you the blessing so you can now move on peacefully. Pastor Chego, uh, is it okay to move on now that you're, you know, you, you have his things in your house, mm -hmm. you know, his property, everything, you, have, you, you made plans, and now death tore you apart. Mm -hmm. how, how, how do you um, do it? Death is inevitable. It is a journey that each and every one of us will take at one point in life. Mm. That is the first fact to accept in life. Wherever you are, in whatever relationship, be it at your workplace, no one day you will die. The most important thing it is the process that you undertake after that uh, person dies. Mm. Of course there was closeness, mm. but now they are not here anymore. Once you've accepted that fact, then you begin on the steps to recover mm -hmm. from that, uh, we may call it trauma. Uh, you recover from the, from, from, from the emotions that you had and you move on from there. And, uh, Definitely, uh, at one point you just have to but, move But on. the question is, how mm. long do you give yourself before you say, because you, you find someone... Take um, enough you, time, take enough time. Yeah, people are different. Mm. There's someone who will even take 10 years. Mm. So people are different. Mm. Take, wow. it, take enough time. Yeah. Mm. Uh, take enough time to grieve and to mourn. Mm -hmm. Because you know mourning is a process. Yeah. After you've grieved and mourned, now begin to move on with life. Because it is important you do. Okay. Mm. All right. Now, um, the, uh, I'm told the clips are ready. Before we, we go, that this conversation is, is, is going up to Medachin. So it was a sad mood. Yeah. Let, <laughs> let, let me change it again. You have tattooed the name of your ex on your skin. Chineke. <laughs> <laughs> I don't judge people who tattoo names of their partners, but I see Jay Fikishu up. My pains are deep. But when you get to that point, because people do things, you know, you can even move in together with someone, it doesn't work out. Mm. You still have to strategize what to do next because at the end of the day, there are things that if, if it's meant to I quite happen, I quite happen. So if you tattooed someone's name, you just figure out, maybe you go and do a cover-up or something. <laughs> 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 uh, because experience. if you're no longer together, what's uh. the essence of walking around with someone's name on your body, you know? For them who have tattooed the names of their loved ones, Ibizuri, <laughs> Kupenda uh, <laughs> But don't get to a place yeah. where you worship someone. You've never even tattooed the name of God or have a scripture on your skin. Why uh, should you tattoo someone's name, name. on yourself? I think you want to go tattoo. <laughs> Nobody's son has taken me there. No. So uh, it should not get to those levels. It should love not. someone, express your mm. your love and emotions to them, but don't get to a place of worshiping them. So mm. you're you're saying tattooing mm. someone is actually worshiping that person. That is too far.
that is going too far. Tattoo them in your heart. Ubi amesema deal. Yeah, that is too far. Tattoo them in your heart. Why? What's the essence? No, but let's take a look at what people are saying. I still have so many questions that we have not covered. Let's take a look at what people said. Remember, we asked the people to send in a one-minute clip of themselves giving us their take about our access for keeps. Take a look. Good morning, Ram. My name is Lame from Kembu County. Uh, my contribution is that you should be able to keep your ex. It is controversial, but uh, I believe that is the right thing to do because before the dating, you are friends first. And that friendship should be superior to the dating that you had. So after the experiment, you must rekindle what you had before the experiment. That is friendship. Friendship withstands uh, the test of time. And therefore, after you fail to do what you wanted to do in your relationship, you must go back to where it started. And that is the friendship base. You should be able to keep your ex close, but not so close avoid some temptations that may come with um, some memories thank you hey yeah so excess 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 are not for keeps for me when you leave you have left you cannot have your way back into my life even as a friend it's not supposed to be that way because if that person intended to be in your life they would still be in your life and they would not have left so if they left they left and that's it being in communication you know sometimes you date someone just for a month or two months then you realize no we are not compatible that one cannot be an ex that one was just someone that you went and took coffee together and that's it yeah oh, we are, we are, we are. That one is farm. I end up, end up. Yeah, I end up. I left. I don't know. Um, let me just give you time to 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 react to what people have said. Mm -hmm. The two uh, 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 viewers who have uh, given their comments. Do you agree with what they said, Afiji? Uh, the second lady, I I agree with her. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When you've closed the chapter, close the chapter. Songa. Mm. The, the same way that guy said, Kama Injili. Like in the Korean was never Kama Injili. Injili. Yende Vele. Injili and another Vele. Nenda Vele. Pastor, do you agree with what uh, our viewers have said? I still maintain my position. Uh -huh. Yeah. Salimia X. What to panda chair? So for him, and as a limia ex, just for his own beneficial purposes. Security. <laughs> Security. <laughs> what to panda chair? Now, hey. uh, okay. Speaking of. Watoto wa kwa na wa kwa na wa kwa niza kutan. At one point. Ah. Mm. Watoto wa kwa na wa kwa. Mm. Ten years from now, mm. you are they are in the same school, mm. and then now they are date. Mm. That's the money. <laughs> Let me. Speaking of kupanda chair. Mm -hmm. Uh, let me try to save my words properly. Mm -hmm. Let's say you are dating somebody and uh, this person does not have the same abilities as your ex. Mm -hmm. And here we're talking about, uh, you know, the uh, abilities mm -hmm. that are, uh, the, that normally take place uh, indoors, mm -hmm. closed door, private activities. Mm -hmm. What do you do in that scenario? Afeji. So you come in the fata. Yeah, you make fata. Good. Well, I think people are different. I couldn't to pay a killer to two. You get. You may find maybe your ex had the ability, but kuna kitu alikuwa na kosea. Yeah. Like there's something he lacked, and maybe this person has that factor. You get. So you you just have to find what. The balance, you know, and you know what you can work with, what you can't work with. Mm -hmm. If it's something you can't work with, I don't understand why you are dating that person. You know, if it's something you can work with, uh -huh. people are different. Uh, what, what was it, Oshana? You get. 
Yeah, yeah we had viewer discretion here. Yeah. So <laughs> we, we are talking about now, uh, Pastor, what do you do? Mm -hmm. uh, your current one doesn't have the same ability to as motivate you as the previous one. Oh, what made you move to the current one? What made you move to the current one? You understand? But these are things you, you, you cannot tell. You are now inside, you are in closed doors, or may realize, oh, oh. You ha Kumbe, they don't satisfy me as the previous one. Mm -hmm. Expectation, yeah. Uh, it's a bit challenging. From where I sit, yes. Yeah. Uh, let me, le allow me to be able to speak from where I sit. Please do. Um, as a believer, mm -hmm. we, we are not allowed to go about test driving. You understand? Mm -hmm. You're not allowed to go about test driving. And therefore, it means when you've set your expectation in any relationship, it includes those private matters that you have highlighted. Yeah? Unenaga kama umeamini ya kwamba ukifika huko mbele mambo mengine itajitetea. Itaweza kufanya nini? Kuafikia. But of course, Someone must be well functional when you're getting into a what? Into a relationship. Mm. Kile ambacho kina kuvutia, <laughs> ndiyo kwanza kili kufanya ukamuendea yuli mtu. Mm. Therefore, it means, mm. when you find mambo siyo mazuri, ni wewe utajaribu vile uweza. Just work through it. You work through it. <laughs> that you make things work. Yeah. Yeah, I agree because that. Yeah. the past is past. Na unafanya nini? Unaendelea mbele. But remember, eh, we do not advocate for doing what? For test, test driving. driving. Mm. Okay. You have something to add on that? No, I, I just agree with what he said that uh, mm. and it, it, your expectations are lowered. <coughs> you just have to work through with what you have because there is a reason as to why you started dating this person. Mm. Because you're not going to tell me if you find someone is not... If mm. you find the expectations are lowered, you're not going to tell me you will go back. Okay. You come back you're not ready for the journey. Like, ukifika mbele, wane ni kubaya, unarudi kwa ule. But swali ni, who you two hawezi? Hato umejaribu, hawezi. Anyway, let's talk about something else. Mm -hmm. The ex who ambaya liweza. Mm -hmm. They bought your house. Mm -hmm. They bought your car. Mm -hmm. They always financed everything mm -hmm. that, uh, you, you know, you now own. I'm mm -hmm. talking about physical materials. Mm -hmm. You now have a, a, a good house, a good car. They even got you a job. Mm -hmm. The money you earn, you owe it to them, mm -hmm. in a way. Mm -hmm. But now they're your ex. Mm -hmm. You've moved on, you're dating someone else. How do you handle such a scenario? Because now your ex will feel like they own you. It's like you are who you are because of them. Mm -hmm. I believe that when you're getting into a relationship with someone, nobody, nobody expects that you're going to, to break up at yes. some point, you know. Yeah. So the moment you're in a relationship, you usually build each other. So there's no way somebody can get to a point of buying you a house, buying you a car, getting you a job, if you've not built him as well. You get? So uh -huh. it's usually a 50-50. So it's like we've gotten to this point, we cannot go on with our relationship, we have to part ways, but whatever happened, happened. You built me, I built you. Let's go our separate ways. Yeah. I'll go with the biblical principle that do unto others what you like to be to done to you. unto you. And therefore, I always say, look at life from the human or from the humanity perspective. Mm. Yeah? Mm. No matter the kind of investment you put in someone's life, just tell yourself that I'm a human being and I'm meant to do it. I'm meant to help. You will move on faster. So anytime you would want to help someone, Piangalie kama binadamu, first of all, leave alone the emotional part of it. Because the reason as to why people have excess, yeah, it is because walieka mambo mengine mbele kuliko the relationship aspect. Remember, there is no relationship without closeness. You understand? So, lile joto ndio linasababisha ya kwamba mambo mengine yanafanya nini? But, but now, if you respect the humane principle, Ram, uh, just a minute, first of all. Uh, yes, yes. If you respect the humane principle, uh, ya kwamba anything unafanya, unafanya first of all as a human being, before you attach any emotion to it, I believe it will be quick. 
But now we, we have people who now cry back to you and, uh, uh, and tell you that you must return everything that I gave to you. Mm. Ah. I made you who you are. Mm. You must pay back everything that I gave to you. Mm. I think that's a, a bit selfish. You know, they were not doing it from you know. Because initially when you're with someone, you don't look at it in terms of nita benefit nini kwa relationship, you get it. You just mm. being you're being supportive to your partner the way he wants you to be supportive. You get the same way he's being supportive to you. So if things go south and uh ku break up, I think it's just you accept and then una say we uli bakinai, uli bakinai, it's okay, mm. you know. I support you from where we are. You move on with life. You move on from there. Yeah, I think I think the pa the people who usually ask back for what they bought, I feel it's a bit selfish. In a selfish. Dog. And some of them end up insulting you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Matusi. Announcing to each and everybody. Yeah. They even that go on social media. You you had me mention. Ya kwamba kama uliachiwa nguo na ex usivai kwa sababu unaweza basi kuile mtapatana kwa sherehe moja you go to one party and then he goes around telling everyone in the party ya kwamba unaona ile. <laughs> ni mimi nilifanya nini nilinunua but just as she said it, it is a bit childish yeah new toto yeah. kuenda ku claim back the things that you gave an ex no matter yeah. how expensive All it right. is okay uh, still i have a lot of questions mm -hmm. let's talk about information mm -hmm. uh, you are now dating somebody mm -hmm. uh, should your ex be uh, aware about your current expeditions mm -hmm. should you keep information from your ex Pastor. Information how? Information. Mm -hmm. What you're doing, where mm -hmm. you're working, uh, you know how your day is going. Uh, when, you're, when you talk to your ex, mm -hmm. Anakuliza, how are you? You know, you, you, you pour yourself. Or should you, you know, have restrictions as to your daily, daily routine is all about? It still comes down to boundaries, the, mm. the same way we spoke before. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. if, you're no, if we are no longer together, I don't see the essence of you knowing where I am, what I'm doing. You could be a psycho. Who? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hey, yeah. Psycho. I, I could be telling you information about what I'm doing and maybe where we left our relationship. Maybe you're still bitter. Maybe, you know. Mm. I, don't, I don't see the essence of you telling your ex every single thing that you're doing in your life. It so just it comes down to boundaries. What are we talking about? Are we talking about school? Let's talk about school. Are we talking about Work, let's talk about work. Are we talking about, you know, it comes down to boundaries. Pastor, your ex texts you five years later or ten years or mm -hmm. even a, a few months later, mm -hmm. just checking up. How are you? What are you up to? Do you say it's none of your business? You don't say it's none <laughs> of your business. <laughs> Remember, this is someone that you once had a relationship yeah. with. And uh, the level of engagement, yeah, it may be differ. There's, there, there's information you cannot give to them. Mm -hmm. There's the deeper information you cannot give to them. Because there are different levels of friendships. Uh -huh. We have constituents, uh -huh. we have comrades, yeah? And there are those ones who are confidants, yeah? So at one point, probably, mm. they were your confident. Mm. You understand? Mm. But when you parted ways, they began to move from the inner circle mm. to the outermost circle. Mm. So you will see the information depending on where you want the relationship to remain. So, yes, there are boundaries. But you cannot be able to deny them the basic information. You give them encouragement. They have to move on <laughs> with life. Encourage so them in one way. Mambe Send them a devotional. Mambe, mambe. <laughs> <laughs> Send them a scripture in the morning. Send them a scripture. Send them a devotional. Like you see what I jail. Your ex sends you a text mm. at uh, 5 a.m. Your partner sees it. Mm -hmm. And Akurza, who is texting you? Mm -hmm. Maybe it could be just about some non issue, a work related issue or something. Mm -hmm. is, 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 should you be concerned as a partner that your current uh, person is receiving messages mm -hmm. from the ex, mm -hmm. even though it's completely not relationship connected or something? Yeah, Ram, uh, one thing I want you to know is uh, I want everyone to know, the viewers, that there is no relationship which is obsolete insecurities are always there you understand so it depends on the level of confidence you have built with the current partner you are having at mm -hmm. that moment mm -hmm. if they have confidence with you yeah they can allow you to go and sit in a restaurant with your ex believing there is nothing I that should, will take place should you tell yeah. your partner mm -hmm. all the excess you have 
It is very important to unleash skeletons from the closet, but do it very, very carefully. Unleash one by one. Do you understand? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that is what I tell people. Whenever you've met a new partner, make sure any skeleton you have in your closet, begin to release. One, one by, by one. one, yes. Not all at once. By the t yeah, not all at once, it will be chaotic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel it's necessary because uh, what if something happens in the future and then, you know, it will, it's going to build some trust issues. Hmm. Your partner will be like, you will have told me this, you will have told me this, you will have told me this. So I feel like if you have an ex, maybe that you're still talking to, your partner needs to know. They should know all your exes. Yes. Not all your exes, but... They okay. should know the, 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 maybe the major people that mattered in your life, people that you really took, people that were really special in your life. You in, know. Amongst your exes. Amongst your exes. Should you block them? If it's necessary. <laughs> if they are a bother. If they are a bother. Yes. You know, there's someone who can just decide to make your life a nightmare. Yeah. Or maybe they've not moved on. They've not moved on. So that is why I say, depending on maturity, when I began, when we began the show, mm. depending on maturity, you understand? Okay. It will determine whether you will block them or, or whether not. you will be able to continue with so, the engagement um, communication. I have another case scenario. Mm -hmm. I have so many. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Should you be bothered when your ex move on so fast? Eh, a hundred percent. A hundred percent. Because people take time to, if somebody really was really special in your life, mm -hmm. you're not just going to let go in a minute and hop on to the next one, you know. Mm -hmm. It takes time for you to heal. Everyone gets devastated. You might not be interested in that relationship, but the, the moment you realize this person is not in my life anymore, mm. it takes you time to to heal, it takes you time to accept, it takes you time, you get. Of which you said that time, so when time, you, time taken depends on a person. Exactly. What if, yeah, time yake meisha? That means ali, alianza ku move on kitamu wenda huko unajua, you know. So maybe the, the moment we kuna fikiria, you guys are still in a relationship, he had started yeah, he had moved moving on. on, you know. Meaning the breakup started way before yeah, you Yeah, yeah. So you, when you see your partner has moved on very fast, hey, ulikuwa peke yako. Uluka, hey. Should you be bothered when your past when your ex move on so fast? You should not be bothered. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because uh, one is you also want to mm -hmm. to move, move on. on yeah. yeah, if you call it both quits, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. then it should not bother you that they moved on so fast, mm -hmm. unless you still had some emotional attachments. Mm -hmm. One thing that I always advise people: once you've gotten out of a relationship. Yeah? Mm. Once you've gotten out of a relationship, take your time, first of all. Because if you fail to do that, the mistakes you made in the past relationship, you are here to make them again. Okay. And then the X factor will be an issue in your life for good. So don't be offended that someone has moved on. Mm. Learn a lesson from it. Learn a lesson. Yes, learn something from that. Uh, we, we are coming to the close of this, but uh, le, le, let's close with the, you are Fiji. Mm -hmm. You're an artist. Yeah. Abu to party is there a little song that you have so far? Yeah, I have a song in it. Niko Tayari. Niko Tayari. Yes. Kurudiana na ex wangu. No. Tell us about this song. <laughs> Niko Tayari is uh, basically a song um, about commitment. Mm -hmm. So, I wrote it way back, I think in 20, early 2020. Mm -hmm. So, it, it's basically, I'm, I'm just trying to, to represent the ladies who are ready to commit, ready to settle down, ready mm -hmm. to be with one person. It's all about commitment. Okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, you, you can give us a line in that song. Cindy, yeah. yeah. You up to Tutafungia. Well, uh, so I'll give you time to sing that, but thank you very much, uh, Pastor, mm -hmm. Pastor Tiago, yes. for being with us uh, today. I was with Edwin Tiago, who is a pastor, a mentor, and trainer with Virginia Afiji Obonyo, an artist, a TV, and a radio host. That brings us to the end of Power Talk this morning. It has been a pleasure. Our access for keeps, well, catch a repeat of this show again tonight at 10 p.m. Every Thursday at 10 p.m. Catch a repeat of this particular show. I would like to end with this quote here. 
that says being friends with your ex is like keeping an empty wine bottle in your fridge. You get nothing from it and it takes up space for something new. Well, that brings us to the end of Power Talk. This has been Power Talk Show right here on Y254. My name is Ram Maguko. God bless you. Have a fantastic day. And uh, thank you very much for keeping it. Y254. Afiji, Marza Kipindi, with your song there. Hi, guys. I have a brand new song. It's called Niko Tayari. It's on all platforms. So I'm just going to give you a small bit yeah. of the song. Mm -hmm. Niko Tayari kusema niko nawe. Usini ache moyo wakudai. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much for giving you Power Talk. See you again next Thursday right here on Y254. This is Power Talk.